This is a high bush blueberry. I picked it out of my own garden and brought it in to concentrate on the colors. This plant has in, been in my yard for several years and I never appreciated it like I do now. It's a good subject. It stays still, you can pull it out of the yard, it's always there for you and that's how it's evolved for me is it's just something I, I like to spend time examining and, and thinking about. You know, how does this plant grow? What is the origins? The art side of it is that this drawing of plants like this is a well-established, skill-based, artistic endeavor. It's been done for years to not only understand the plants, but to share what the plants look like. It's hard to beat a drawing because with a photograph you're limited to where the light is and how that, you try to balance it with the camera. But with your eye, we have so much more access to the values in anything we see. The eye is much better than the camera. You can't replace it. One thing that's different about botanical art is you almost never have a cast shadow on the ground. It's always floating and that so you work hard to get it real because it's like you want it to come out of the paper. You want it to be a subject in its own. It's not in time or space, it's there. It is time or space in the sense that it's the moment that the plant is because you're asked to be true to it. But you don't put it on a surface visually. There's no shadow, there's no background. So that is a consistent quality of botanical art. Well, I was an art teacher for um, about 12 years. I am working on a certificate at Lewis Ginter Gardens. And my reason for going ahead and getting a certificate is anticipation of possibly teaching it. I don't know that there's any better way to learn and to enjoy sharing a subject than being a teacher.